So this piece of insulation is supposed to, supposed to go here. And I have the holes to line up with on this side. But I think what I'm going to have to do is take off this so we can just put it on. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to, I'm going to do a test fit, maybe attach it with some painter's tape. We'll see how that goes. Make sure it looks like it's all going to fit right. I got the right piece before I glue it down for good. So why don't we start um, taking this piece off and then I'll clean this bracket so it's nice and clean when it comes time to put the, uh, the stick -em on. Let's go see how this looks before we uh, before we glue it for good. So the holes are lining up okay. There's a, there's a grommet over here, which is kind of getting crushed. I think I just have to be careful putting it back on. But I got this thing where this little red knob is, is going to be good. I do see that the, the, the holes on the side are lining up very nicely. There's two different sets of holes. The insulation is leaning against the bucket positioning valve, so it's, if I leave this machine outside, it's just going to start rusting again. But uh, I think we're good to go if we, um, you know, it's going to take a little finesse to get it in, but I think if we glue it down, we'll be all right. This piece over here was a little bit bent. I think that's why I was having trouble getting it around that grommet. Side with the red knob over here was also the side with the electrical connections. So all we need to do is thread these wires through. And then when this piece goes in, I know that it's got to be aluminum pieces in here have to be upright because the zerks are on top and there'd be no other way to get in there without them upright. So then we can put these on as U-bolts. Set down. And then there's an indentation in the handle Looks like it would line up just right. Yeah, 
That's that's not upright. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't want to crush the aluminum, so I'm going to stop myself there. Looks like they put a thread locker on this. Take an orangish color there, so I'm going to get some of my blue thread locker and put that on. I'll redo the other one too. There's no reason there should be orange, that's not rust, so I, th I think there's some thread locker on these. Come on. Thank you. 